Hi, and welcome to Keep On Moving with Val. We're having another session here of yoga. This one is more of a relaxing, restorative yoga session. So for those of you who've had a long, stressful day, it's a nice one to do when you get home from work. There's not a, a lot of strength involved in this. It's more just releasing tension, getting your muscles to loosen and relax. And so hopefully it will be an enjoyable session. We will not be getting up from the mat at all. Everything is done either seated or lying down, which means that if you need help getting up and down, you might want to have a chair nearby. But we won't be doing a lot of uh, shifting of levels. You can also use props for this one if you need them. If you need to sit on a pillow, or have a pillow ready when you lie down to support your neck. And you can also use these props that help with leg extension if you have tight hamstrings, uh, anything in your legs, if we're on our backs and you're lifting your leg up, you can use this to help support your leg if you can't reach all the way to your toes. If you don't have one of these magic hoop gizmos, Got a scarf here too. Scarves and belts work quite well at the same time. We won't really be doing a lot of uh, big leg stretches, but just in case, you can have your tools ready if you need them. We're going to start as we always do with some nice deep breathing just to kind of get ourselves ready and centered and focused. So we'll start with the palms together. Again, sitting as tall as you can, even if you're uncomfortable in a regular easy floor pose, you can loosen your legs up if you need to. And as I say, sitting on a pillow is helpful for some people as well. So just close your eyes for a moment listening to your breath. With each breath, you're just going to let stress go. Sometimes we don't realize how much we're holding stress in our bodies until we take those deep breaths and feel our muscles begin to soften. As you breathe this time, stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, release them down. And again, breathing in this time, bring your palms back together. Back to your heart. And once more, a nice deep breath. Exhale, release down. And another breath. Inhale. Exhale down. And now let's just start loosening the shoulders up. We're just going to lift the shoulders by the ears. Let them release. As you breathe in, feel your shoulders coming up. Little pause there. Exhale. Feel the release all the way down. Let's do one more. As you breathe, not only are your shoulders lifting, but your shoulder blades, the muscles in the upper back. And then exhale down. Let's turn our head now. I always like to start relaxing the neck muscles. That's where a lot of tension is. Let's turn to the other side. And again, looking across one shoulder. If it feels uncomfortable, don't turn as far. But even a little stretch will be beneficial for your neck. And take a little tilt. This one is sometimes challenging. Our tendency is to hold on to the head, but let the neck release. And let's go again. And over. Look 
look straight ahead now. Keep those shoulders loose and relaxed. Tilt the head forward. Slowly look up, up to the ceiling or the sky or wherever you are at this moment. And again, rolling the head forward. Looking up. Holding the head level. We're just going to loosen our hands right now. Tightening and releasing the finger joints. Wiggle your fingers a bit. Roll the wrists. And back. Good. Stretch one arm across. Feel that shoulder, the muscles across the shoulder stretching. And hold the arm up. Can't bring your arm all the way to your ear, just pull it forward there, just a little press on the elbow. And the other arm. Feel that stretch. Lift up. Both arms out. Just wrap your arms around, reaching around towards your shoulder blade. Stretch them out and bring the other arm on top and reach. Relax the arms down. Let's take another deep breath and just transition into stretching the back a little more now, reaching the arms up, stretching in front. Breathing as you're reaching forward so that you feel the muscles stretching down the back, all the way into your lower back. You can shake your head a little while you're down there, just moving those neck muscles. Let's lift up, stretch to the ceiling. just to the back or the sides of your head there, just cradling your head, take a little tilt to one side, a little tilt to the other side. And now an easy twist, reach across to one knee, looking back, Let's go to the other side. Remember, you're just unwinding and decompressing right now. Bring one arm up now and tuck the other behind your back. And over to the other side. One hand up. Tuck the other behind. Good. Rest the hands down, and we'll just do some easy neck rolls, just half circles, rolling down and up from one shoulder to the other. Everything we're doing right now is to help you relax, is to help get tightness and tension out of your muscles. Let's do a full circle now, all the way around. Go slowly on this one, especially on the back. Sweep there. Back the other way. Spending most of the time down on the mat. 
We're going to start just on hands and knees for a moment. We won't stay there too long. Just make sure your hands are coming straight down from your shoulders for good support. And we're just going to rock back to a child's pose. If this is stressful on your knees, don't go quite as far. Just lean on your elbows. going to extend one leg back. Just give that leg a stretch. Nothing challenging, just a nice long reach. Stretch the other leg back. Just getting those hip flexors. Time to release. Okay. And now we're going to do a cat wheel. It's like cat cow pose, but in motion. So we're going to rock back, scoot forward over your hands, and lift up into a lunge. And let's do that again. Rock back, let your elbows touch, push forward, lift up into a high arch. So we get all those uh, back muscles, all the muscles along your spine, all the vertebra. Getting a nice stretch, nice high lift. Then back to child's pose. All right, now we're going down onto our backs for most of this session. Stretching out flat. But at this point, if you can't see your monitor or your laptop or whatever, just listen to the sound of my voice so that you're not feel like you're constantly turning towards the screen. And we're going to stretch out flat on our backs into Savasana. Everybody likes this pose. So let your body just release. Feel the joints loosening now, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. And then in the lower body, feel the hip joints loosening, the knees, the ankles. Soften your hands and feet. You can wiggle your fingers and toes a little just to sense them. And then let them relax. A little more breathing now. This time, we're going to place one hand over our lower abdomen, right around our belly button, the other one on the upper chest. This helps you feel your breath. It helps feel the muscles that are involved in breathing. So as you draw breath in, feel your abdominal muscles rise, then your chest muscles, and now press gently on your chest as the air goes out, and then press gently on your stomach. That way you're getting what's called a full belly breath. You're getting the oxygen all the way into your body. So let's do that again. Take a deep breath in and feel your abdominal muscles rising. That means you're pushing the air all the way to the bottom of your lungs. As you exhale, lightly press on your chest and then your abdomen. And let's do that one more time. Breathing in, feel those muscles rising. Exhale, feel them releasing. This is great to do just on its own whenever you feel like it, that you need to decompress or let go of your stress. All right, release your arms down. Let the shoulders relax again. And now bend your knees with your feet flat to the floor so that your heels are near your hips now. And now feel your lumbar spine release in the curve of your back. Just let that melt and press to the floor. This particular
particular session I also call sloth yoga. Many people do just call it restorative yoga. But I like to call it sloth yoga just so that you have that mental image of a slow moving animal that's very relaxed and at ease. So as you're breathing, let's take both knees and let them just fall to one side. You're going to feel most of the stretch down that top hip and down the outside of the leg. Those outside thigh muscles, your eye bands, they often feel tired or tight. So just feel the stretch. Lift up, and we're going to let those knees fall to the other side. Breathe as you let them go over. If it's feeling uncomfortable, lift the knees up just slightly or come out of the pose. Let's lift the knees up again. And we're going over to one side again. Lower the knees. And now this time, straighten the top leg over the other knee so that your leg is extending out in the air. Again, you're going to feel those outside leg muscles getting a good stretch. Bend that top knee. Come back with the knees facing the ceiling. And let's do that to the other side. Let the knees fall over. And now extend that top leg. Just straighten the knee so it's extending out over the other leg. You're in a twist here at the waist. So your back is also getting a good stretch. And let's bend that top knee and lift both knees up. All right, we're going to straighten the legs slowly out on the mat again. So you're right back to where we began. And we're going to do a floor tree. Standing tree is for balance. Floor tree, you don't have to worry about the balance. We just get a little stretch in our hips. Let your legs just release, so you'll feel your feet, your toes, slowly rotating outwards. And now take your right foot and start sliding it up the left leg, letting that knee open out. It may not touch the mat, but just open that knee out so you're going to feel a stretch in that Again, there's no particular place you have to stop, just where it feels natural for your foot. Now, stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Bring your palms together and reach over. And now you're in a tree pose. You're getting a stretch in the shoulders, a stretch in the hip. Just breathing. Bring the knee up and towards your chest. Holding it lightly with your hands so your shoulders aren't tensing up. Keep your shoulders pressing back to the mat. And now we're going to open the knee. Again, a little bit higher now than from your tree pose, so you might feel the hip stretch a little more. Bring the knee up, cross it over the body. Take the other hand and stretch the knee gently over. Again, if it's uncomfortable, come back just a little. All we're looking for is a nice, easy stretch here, loosening up your muscles. On your back again, now this is where, if you want to use a scarf or a hoop, to hold your leg, you can. We're going to straighten the leg up as much as it can. Now, if you're tight at the back of the knees or the hamstrings, you may not be able to get the leg all the way straight. And that's fine, because we're going to bend it in a minute anyway. Just keeping the leg extending to the ceiling. And now, with your hands at the back of your thighs, just relax the knee down towards you. Push the leg up as straight as you can. 
And we'll do that one more time. Just relaxing the knee towards you. Push the leg straight. Lower that leg straight down next to the other leg. Relax your hips and knees again. And we're ready to do the other side. Start with the left leg now, with the foot sliding up the right leg, the knee out. Give that hip and knee a moment to just release into that position. Sometimes our muscles have to process what's happening. And now bring the arms up to the ceiling, palms together, and stretch overhead back to your tree. Just breathe as you're stretching here. Adjust what you need to if anything's uncomfortable. Bring the knee up and to your chest. Again, holding lightly. And now we're going to open this knee out into our hand. If you have tight hips, your, your knee might not go very far, and that's fine. Just any stretch at all is going to help those hips. And let's switch over and bring this knee over the body. You might find that one side goes more easily than another. That's not uncommon. On your back again. And now we'll extend the leg on this side, so use your hoop or your scarf if you need to. Now we'll stretch the leg up. Again, you might have one hamstring that's tighter than the other. With your hands behind your thigh or your knee, just let the knee relax and bend and straighten back up. And here we go again, just relax that knee. Straighten back up and lower this leg down and release the body. Let's bend our knees up one more time. Be flat to the floor. We'll just do our bridge pose. We won't hold it long. Again, we're just trying to stay relaxed and at ease. So, pressing firmly with the soles of your feet. Lift the hips up. Slowly lower back down. Feel your back rest. Let's go up again. Press with your feet. Lift up. Slowly lower back down. And we'll do that one more time, pressing up. Lower back down. Tuck both knees in, extend both legs to the ceiling. Again, they may not get all the way straight. That's fine, just as vertically as you can get them. We're going to lift the arms up as well and just do our dead bug pose. This is where you just let your limbs go limp. And again, if you've been on your feet all day, especially if you're teachers, whatever you're doing, and you've had a busy day, this is great. It's going to get some of the swelling out of your feet and hands. You're going to have the blood circulating back up your limbs to your heart. probably stay here a while, but we won't. So, relaxing the knees. We're now going to place the feet down and turn on our side. Again, everything is slow and easy right now, so take your time. Elbow there or pillow. Rest your head. Draw your knees up just a little, and we're going to do that same stretch we did earlier. Stretching one leg out in front of you, just hovering over the ground. Bend 
that knee. Take hold of the ankle. If you can. We're going to bend that knee down, pointing it down the mat, holding the foot. And you should feel the quad muscle down the front of your thigh stretching now. If you have that ability, push the knee back just a little. If that's uncomfortable, just keep it lined up with your hip. And again, if you can't reach your foot, just bend the knee so you feel that stretch in the leg. All right, relax. Let's go to the other side. You can just roll over the other way. I'm going to flip myself so I'm still facing forward. And we're going to lean on the other arm. Again, tucking the knees in so that you feel comfortable and supported. Extend that top leg out. Just so you feel that stretch. And now we're going to fold the knee. And again, reach to the back. You can even, if you've got leggings, you can grab hold of them or your pants if it's hard to get hold of your foot. And point the knee down in the line from your hip. And again, if you can push back a little, you can do the back stretch, you get even more stretch in your quad muscles. Bring that knee back in. This time we're going face down. Go all the way down for a moment. You can just rest your head on your hands. And then slowly lift up. We're going to lean on our elbows for a very gentle back bend. Now if your shoulders are pulling up towards your ears, press down in your lower arms and hands. Now we're just going to look straight forward. This is called the Sphinx Pose, if you've seen the sculpture in Egypt. And now let your head slowly roll forward so your chin is coming to your chest. As you lift your head, you're going to bend one knee, pointing that toe up. Lower the leg, lower the head. Let your head go forward. Lift the head and bend the other knee. Toes are pointing up to the ceiling. If it's uncomfortable, just release down just a little. And lower everything back to the mat. Savasana pose, just ready to come to the end of our session. Hopefully you're feeling better, you're feeling a little more relaxed. We're going to take a breath and stretch the arms to the ceiling and just do a little reaching. Lift with one arm so your shoulder comes off the mat. Lift with the other. And again, one shoulder. And the other, reaching up. And now wrap your arms across your chest. So they feel nice and snug around your body. Let's take a breath, stretch the arms up again. Inhale. Exhale. 
And now you can just close your eyes for this next part and completely relax. If you're cool or need a blanket, you can cover yourself with a blanket or a sweater. You can have your arms out or down by your side. If your back feels uncomfortable, you can do this with your knees bent to help those lumbar muscles release. And we're just going to focus on our breath again. Slow, easy breath in. Easy breath out. As you're breathing, focus on the core of your body, right at the center of your body, just above your navel and below your rib cage. This is the core. I like to call this the engine of your body. All of the organs are here working up into the chest, down to the lower abdomen. So there should be a nice warm energy there. So as you're breathing, just picture that warm energy at the center of your body. Just like the hub of a wheel, and your arms and legs are the spokes of that wheel. With each breath, feel that energy grow a little wider in circumference. So as you breathe in, feel that warmth radiating up into your chest, your heart and lungs, down into your lower abdomen. Just relaxing all of the muscles up and down your diaphragm. As you breathe again, feel that circle will grow bigger so that you're breathing and relaxing up into the shoulder joints and down into the hip joints. And another breath and just feel your spine relaxing from the back of the neck down through to the tailbone. feels at ease now. As we breathe, we're going to go upwards into the neck muscles and out through the arms. Relax any tension from the neck. Soften your arms. Breathing again, and from the center, go downwards now, releasing through the hip joints down into the legs, all the way to your toes. So that as you breathe, you feel that warm energy from the center of your body radiating outwards. And now up into your head, the muscles of the face, out through your arms, down through your legs. Nice and slow now, calm and relaxed. You can take as long as you want on this part. You don't have to follow directions anymore if you want, but if you're ready to close the session, take some deep breaths now more energizing breaths. You can open your eyes. You can move anything you need to, your hands and feet, stretch your shoulders, and take your time getting up, however you like to get up. The easiest way for most people to get up is to bend their knees, turn to the side, <clears throat> and just push up with one hand slowly. Bring yourself upright. Let's come back to where we started. And just take one more 
stretching breath, the end of our session. And down. I hope you feel better now. I hope you feel rested. And namaste. Thank you.